I have now launched Microsoft Visual C++. During this course, I will refer to Microsoft Visual C++ as simply C or C++. C++ is simply an enhancement to the original C language. And within the context of this course, it is not important to distinguish between the two versions of C or C++. You will note in the Microsoft Visual C++ window, there are several windows. This window is known as the Project Workspace window. This dark gray area is known as the Code window and will become available to us very shortly. The bottom window, which is white, is known as the Output window. In the Output window, you will receive error messages or other type of warnings or messages from the C compiler. The best way to learn how to write code in C is to simply to begin writing code and to understand each line of code as it is entered. To write a new uh, program in C, you simply click on File and then choose New. You no you'll notice that there are several tabs. The one we want at this point is the Files tab. And then select C++ Source File and then click OK. You'll notice now the code window has turned white, which indicates that we are now, it is now available for us to begin entering code. By the way, if you would like to create more space, you could close this project workspace window for the time being, and now you have a little more room to work. The output window could also be closed, but for right now, I'll leave it open. Like most programming languages, the C language follows a specific format, which is referred to as the syntax. The syntax of a language is very important. It is simply the rules that you must follow to use the language. One important note, and I will emphasize this several times, is that the C language is a case-sensitive language, which means you need to pay attention to whether you are using uppercase or lowercase. In many instances, you can use upper or lowercase, but you must be consistent throughout the program for a specific word, variable, or keyword. The first thing you might want to type into a program is a comment. A comment is entered in a C program by using two forward slashes. These forward slashes will then tell the compiler that what comes next is simply a comment. For example, if I type in this line of code, this will not cause a problem and is considered non-executable code. The C compiler will ignore this line of code when it translates into a compiled or object program. You can use comments to document your program, such as this program will accept numbers and display their sum. Now a person reading this program has an idea of what this program will do. By the way, you can enter as much white space, that is lines with nothing on it, as you want. The C compiler will ignore this also. So for example, if I want a blank line between my comment and my next line of code, I can simply press the Enter key as many times as necessary. The next line of code will be confusing at first, but it is necessary and will become more, more easily understood as time goes on. I'll first type the line, which is pound sign include open brace IO stream dot H, close bracket. You'll notice the word include is in blue, which means it is a keyword or reserve word. This is known as a compiler directive. Most C programs include this directive. A compiler directive is a special instruction for the C compiler that tells the compiler to include the contents of another file. In this case, the iostream.h file. The iostream.h file contains the instructions, that is the source code, needed to handle input and output operations, such as entering data from a keyboard or displaying information to the computer screen. Files that have an, a .h at the end of their names are called header files. Header refers to the fact that these files are included at the beginning or head of a program. Notice that you place the name of the file, in this case, iostream.h, in angle brackets. 
The angle brackets indicate that the file is located in C's include folder. The include folder, which contains the standard C header files, comes with the C system that you have on your computer. As mentioned earlier, earlier, remember that the C compiler is case sensitive. Therefore, make sure you spell include exactly the way you see it, that is, in lowercase. Do not use an uppercase I or all uppercase or any other combination. It must be typed exactly as you see it. The next program instruction will be void main. You will see this statement in virtually all C programs. Main is the name of a function. A function is simply a block of code that performs a specific task. You can recognize a function in C by the parentheses immediately following the name. The execution of a C program always begins with the main function. That is, every C program must have a main function. After the function's name, you enter the code that directs the function on how to perform its particular task. In C, you enclose a function's code within a set of braces. That is, an opening brace followed by a closing brace. And if this were a real program, we would have code in between these two braces. Everything between the opening and closing brace is included, is including the main function. At this point, we have the main structure of a C program. We have some comments that tells the reader what this program is going to do. We have the compiler directive, which will allow us access to input and output operations. And we've created the structure for our main function. If we compile this program, of course, nothing will happen because nothing is inside the function. We will begin to write code for this main function in the next segment.